Hello, Josh Kelly here. Welcome back to another 101 episode. This week we're talking about driver length. Now this is something a lot of golfers don't take into account when it comes to their driver. They just take a standard driver off the wall, they don't get fit, and they try to hit it, and they don't have as much control. So we're gonna talk about how maybe a shorter shaft can help you hit more fairways. Now for the Epic Flash here, the standard length is 45 and a half inches. When I got fit in Carlsbad last year, I was told, hey, you have plenty of club head speed, let's make this shaft a little bit shorter so you can have a little more control. So we cut it down a half an inch. Even though every other club in my bag, my irons, are a half an inch longer because I am a taller guy, I'm six foot five, I still had my driver shaft cut down a half an inch for a little more control. Now the tour average is somewhere around 44.75 as far as the driver shaft length. So that's a lot shorter than the standard driver. And even Ricky Fowler has been using a 43 and a half inch long driver. So if you're someone who struggles with a little bit of control with their driver, it may be a good idea to have that shaft cut down a little bit and play with a shorter driver. But I really recommend just going ahead and getting fitted for your driver, go to a professional, hit some balls, different driver shaft lengths, and see what's best for you. Phil Mickelson, even in the past, has used two drivers at a tournament, one longer to hit longer bombs, as he likes to call it, and one a little bit shorter to have a little more control. So it's all about what's gonna be best for your game. If you're somebody who has plenty of control and you're looking for a little more speed, maybe a little bit of a longer driver will help you. Vice versa, if you're somebody who's plenty long, plenty head club head speed, but you're not really straight, you're not hitting many fairways, then maybe going to a shorter driver will help you. So that's something to think about with your equipment. I hope this video helped you guys a little bit. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next episode.